check the cattle. They're doing good. Some of them are ruminating, the rest are just lazy. We're gonna, we're gonna get a cup of coffee and get these guys up the hill before it warms up today. Today's our last warm day. Um, that'll be it for the year. Um, we're gonna be hitting some cold temperatures here pretty soon. You know, this is gonna be it for us for the year as far as grazing, uh, as growing season. We're gonna be getting down into the the mid 20s at night and it's gonna stick there for a while. So highs will be in the 40s. So our cool season grasses will be turning off. Um, I know it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a disappointment to a bit of a disappointing summer as far as no rain and massive drought, but I'm very thankful to the Lord that we got the rain that we did and we had this warm weather last as long as it did. It's pretty incredible. I mean, here we are, what is this? November 10th or 11th and uh, unbelievable. We've been having 70 degree weather, 70 and you know, like I said yesterday, it hit 80. So really nice weather. We've had some more growth in, in our pastures. We didn't get near as much grow back and stockpile as we wanted. So, you know, I think really that means for us probably having to buy another 20, 25 round bales of hay. Not the end of the world, but you know, when you're on a budget, every dollar counts. We're looking forward, we're really excited. I'm, I'm pumped for next year. So, you know, we did a lot to this farm. Uh, we, got, we got the ranch in pretty tip top shape as much as we could for one year. Oh, old laddie's gonna come up and say hi to us. Maybe not. He's just coming here. Hey, bud. Well, if he gets, gets so inclined, he'll come over here and get some morning scratches. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we really, really did well and feel very blessed considering the, the difficulties that we had with grazing. And there he is. There's my baby. This is one of a couple of our yearling colts that we have. They haven't quite... They're not old enough yet to uh, put through the rigors of training, but they get handled. They get pet. They get loved on. They lead, stand, tie, load. Um, but we, you know, we're not putting a saddle on them yet. And this right here, that's Eddie. And he's also a yearling. And then here comes Scout, bullying people out of the way because he wants to get a pet. Hey, buddy. How are you? This is my daughter's horse, Deanne's horse. Oh, you're gonna be all goofy. So, <clears throat> he's a really fine animal. These are all out of the same family of horses, these guys here. Um, we get them from a breeder in Idaho and uh, we train them up and, and sell them. So, we've got a couple here. We've got a couple we brought on. We'll, we'll keep here at the ranch, we'll keep them back. But, but a lot of these guys will go down the road um, you know, the next person that can find a good use for him. So, anyway, enough of that chit chat. We're going to get going. Thanks, Look who's out of bed finally. Good God. Who was out of bed first? I was out of bed first. No, you weren't. I was out of bed first. Oh, look who also is out of bed. I, I was out Finally. of bed since like 520. I've been doing Why is everybody chores? dressed like we're still in Alaska? My goodness. Oh, it's so cold. Thyroid problems, Dad. Thyroid problems? Oh, you got mental you problems. Are we ready? Problems. We gonna do this? Yes, you gonna move? Are you gonna come help? You gonna do her? We're gonna pile all four of us on here? Sick. Let's do yeah. it. Oh, I'm falling. I'll, like this. I'll just hold on to you. You call hanging on the winch. <laughs> hey, look. What I have a, what are you doing? Get over here. I have a full load of stupid on here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it's like a clown car. <laughs> but it's a little four-wheeler. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. We got to we got to go move our chickens, so. Oh, I keep looking over here and I'm like retarded. I got to look there. Oh, that's better. Thanks. All right, we're going to go move our chickens, so we'll show you how that works real quick. Anyway, I'm going to show you what's up here. Yeah, yeah. Everybody get off. You're all fat. Hey, it's all Deanne. Oh, no. uh, Deanne's oh, like, well, no, Deanne, you stay on. I need, I need the traction. <laughs> oh, no. Bring it back more. Oh, it's hey, like, okay, you got, it. Yeah, you do four that. Four more inches. Oh, there's my Everybody needs four more inches. Ah, God. 
Wow. Eh. Well, you're definitely in a bad spot. <laughs> Good lord, you get pinched in there. You get, you get your knee knee. Get it. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Other side though, because the sun will blind everybody. So over there, you just got doo doos on you. You painted your finger with chicken caca. That's yes. Awesome. Go fast. Right, Actually, I think it's cat. Why so far? Okay, bye. Okay, I did my good deed for the day. There we go. Whoa. Back up, unhook the chain. No, don't worry, I'll do it. Oh. You just stay there. What a guy. Don't worry yourself. Don't. Okay, don't let him down. Hold on, I gotta show this. Pull forward. All right, we're gonna show you what we're kind of doing here. This goes into a pulley up there. I'm showing it. Hold on. Hold on. First off, uh, want to bet? <laughs> Don't feel like getting yelled at this morning. All right. So we go here, open this. All the chickens are in here going, ah! Taking a ride. Okay. So everything's knocked over. Okay, <clears throat> pop her open. Let's see what we got cooking. There's our little water that they love to attack and knock over. Oh, we need water. You guys are gonna have to water them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so that 15 gallon water tote right there lasts them for, oh shoot, five days, something like that. Okay. All right, let's go move these animals. It's time to go. So Where'd we're going to jam. Go? Oh, she's over there. Chunky. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Where's big Bertha? <laughs> oh, Bertha's over there soaking feed for our old geriatric horse. So. She's going to love that. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be editing and be like, <laughs> we almost had an act. Oh, God, and he's twerking. Nothing like a good old early morning twerk. You gotta have that. Especially for Let's see. The truth will be revealed. How bad is their betting? Everyone in the world's gonna know if you've been taking care of your goats, Elliot. As shit falls <laughs> out the door, she starts opening it. <laughs> that is bad. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad, but would you wanna sleep on that? I was the last one to get the bedding. Here. Come introduce yourself there, goats. Two cups of bedding in there. Come on. <laughs> Come on, we got Noir, okay. George, Belle, and we just call her Mama. Yeah, the kids name these damn things. Well, except for yeah, Noir. You named George. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he was so huggy and lovable. They don't want to come out. They're scared of the wheeler, dude. Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. They're going to keep making raisins, man. You're scaring it out of them. <laughs> they ain't coming out. We have them trained to be deathly afraid of the four-wheelers. So when it's time to put them up, we just come out. Woo, woo. And, uh, oh, that's why they're taking off. Because they got, they got the little fuzzy sharks after them. Yep. Little fuzzy sharks. These guys, oh, watch this. Oh, 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 oh. He's surrounded. He's surrounded. Go get him. Get him. Go get him. Get him. Get him. Look at him, he's all hackled up. Come on, get him, go get him, come on. Go get him, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh, uh -huh. yeah, that's good training, yeah, get him. Noir's a pet goat, he's like a dog. He wants to be in your truck. He just wants to be in your lap, he wants to be in your house. See how they all run to the horses, they know that Boomer will stomp anything that will give problems, so. We better keep the puppies away before they get turned into little puppy cakes. All right, let's go. Bertha, let's go. <laughs> oh, Bertha. All right, get off here. I'm gonna go up and set that front gate, okay? Yes, Trini, get up. <laughs> She's been gone for a while. You're like, Trini, get up. Oh, hey, you stay. You ugly dogs, you stay. You stay. Oh, trouble and trouble number two. Yes. Sage and Kona. 
the troublemakers. Are you ready? Let's do it. Clean this place up. This is just a briary, brushy. You know, our prior owner of this land that we just purchased it from, he did a great job of doing a lot of work to it. He did a bunch of work. I guess it was real bad. And he owned it for, I don't know, maybe a couple years, and he did a bunch of work to it. But then life took him in another direction, which he actually is also a YouTuber. Go check him out. Um, his YouTube is under under Snuff Cups. Yeah, it's Snuff Cups. Check that out. He's a local kid here. Nice guy, I say kid. You know, he's in his 20s. I guess that just means I'm an old fart. But, uh, yeah, good guy. He's got a YouTube channel and does a bunch of social media. He's got a business. Pretty awesome. Young guy, family man. He's doing it right, you know? He's... He's doing the best with what he can for his family, just like we are here. So, damn gate. The gates on this ranch are something to behold. They're in pretty poor shape, but <clears throat> to be honest, I don't really like conventional gates and barbed wire and all that. It's great for a perimeter, but you will stay. Okay, we're going to move forward a little bit so we don't put pressure on these cattle as they come through. Let's see what we got going here. <laughs> I hear a little bit of hollering, so I don't know if they've already got a goat rope going on or what. Cow, cow, cow. <laughs> that was very effective, Elliot. Hopefully dad opened that gate down here. Dad opened the gate down here. Dad! <laughs> oh, Dad! Careful, it's hot. What you go, zappy zap? We will. They'll follow. One of these cows looks like it's going down. She's trying to get the horses away from Admiral. Did you really just say, bet you won't kick me? Admiral does not like the other colts being over here. Quite the uh, cow herder with my two fuzzy sharks. They're like my little missiles. I can just deploy them. <laughs> Seek and destroy. Don't make me use my first seeking missiles. I will. There we go. There we go. Oh, God. Oh. Nah. He's just weak. I'll Come on. Oh, little miss. Yeah. I've been doing my puppy curls. Puppy curls? Puppy curls. I'm like, I'm all fat and tired. Carrying little fur missiles. I kind of knew this was going to be a bit of a shit show down here, but not too bad. You mix horses and cattle and you try and move them, things get dicey. Hey! Cut them off! Cut them off! Oh, look at them turn, man. It's okay. You're good, Trent. Stop. Stop. There we go. Good. All right. Now just. He's not the best cow horse. He's kind of hard headed. Well, he's old and crusty. <laughs> he knows what he can get away with. Come on, 970. I'm going to boink you. Yeah. Head them up, move them out. Yeah. They're on a regular old good old fashioned cattle drive. Yeah, yeah, they're my cow catchers. Love some pretty 
golden looking grasses. Well, that's broom sedge. That's, that's trash. Poverty grass. We don't want that. That was real thin. That was bad. Really bad. You can just see dirt almost everywhere. So we're just letting it revegetate, not hitting it too hard. So once we get to the top, I'll show you the difference. Kind of what's happened, where, where we started, where we're at. Oh, you got the troublemakers now on here. Yeah. Old trouble. Come here. Yo. Sage. Whatever. <laughs> she don't like you. <laughs> don't run. Just nice and slow. Arriba. Mas rápido. Okay, okay, hang on. Come here. <laughs> Drag her little ass up there. That's what you get, you little disobedient fur missile. We're almost there, kids. I was just yammering on about down there you'll see the broom sedge and you'll see the difference between it up here we don't have a lot you know it's decent um just drought 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 so we didn't get a lot of stockpile here but we're gonna give it every last chance it could we kept as much grazing pressure off it late in the years as possible so but as you can see, very little broom sedge. You can see a few sprigs here and there. Um, that might be due to the time that I mowed. Well, I'm sure it did. I mean, the broom sedge was coming, coming in when I mowed and it put a bunch of pressure on it. You know, it really kicked it in the butt. So, and you can see quite a bit of it down there, but it's getting much better. This... This top field up here is a little over 20 acres. And hopefully we'll get, oh, you know, about 15 to 20 days of grazing up here before we'll move them off, put them down on this hillside and work across the farm again. Hopefully we only have to make two full rotations and a partial to get through the winter. Meanwhile, we'll be unrolling hay and, and feeding that to get them through. If we would have had more rain this summer, I have no doubt that we would have been able to get through the winter um, with, with, you know, almost not feeding. We would have had, you know, probably just below the knee stockpile. Instead, we got, you know, if you stand this grass up, maybe it's middle of the calf. It's, there's just not much. There are much better parts over here. There's some, there's a little bit more forge there. It's decent back on this side. So it's a little hit and miss. We're just gonna move them through, see what we can do. But it is a beautiful scene up here on an absolutely gorgeous day. Doesn't get much better. And I got a really good crew of cow wrestlers here. I'm the best. You're the best? And you're the most humble. So that, you got that going for you you're the bestest just ask you all right let's go get some breakfast kids yeah we don't eat till the animals do right Bye. oh elliot's like peace Bye. i kill you i kill you they can't zoom out i have to do that yeah good yeah here we go so success nothing jumped the fence nothing broke anything no one got kicked so not a bad morning so far who? <laughs> oh, you're kicking cows? <laughs> Cow kicker. Alright. Hey, you almost got kicked by scouts. Man, we gotta love. This wheeler hates you guys. <laughs> I mean, say, not a bad view. Be a hell of a place to put a house up here. We talked about it, but maybe someday. Maybe someday when I just got nothing better to do than build another scratch built piece by piece home all the way up on this hill. Yeah. Yeah, well, closer. Huh? Uh, backlight. But see now my face is dark. I look like I've been tanning. Because you can't see it? Yeah. 
Yeah, your face looks better because it's so scared. Okay, so that's it for this morning. Oh God, she loves to touch my screen. I make it better. She makes it better. Uh, that's it for, for this little clip. We just wanted to give you all a taste of what we're doing and, oh yeah, good call. What we're doing and, you know, kind of just a morning on the ranch here. My kids are incapable, so I had to go help them move cattle. And, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pull your ear. I have to get out every once in a while and not just swing a hammer because I kind of lose my mind. So it's nice to get out on the ranch and see stuff. Oh, I have a backpack. So, oh, two claws. <clears throat> so anyway, thanks for watching. Catch us on some more videos here at Take Creek Ranch. If you don't mind, on the way out, subscribe, like, comment, any of those things that really, really helps us out, guys. Gives us the encouragement to keep on going. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one soon. Bye.